box. What's on the side of Harrison? If you ever use, even like, if you turn a flashlight on and off, mm -hmm. it makes it flash. Oh, no. It's, it's active in the uh -huh. Like, it works best to go back and forth. My other camera has a flash, but I hate to bring it out here with this hair flying around. Yeah. And it's a really nice camera. Though. It's weird how they turn those for out. So basically, you just have to clip. You just have to just have to clip the the ends. Is basically where they grow out at. Yeah, they just go right out past the pad here, and that's what you clip off. Okay. Is there any way to? I was given a given a little how-to course on the old limit trimming one time, and uh, made it too short. Quick. <laughs> it's the only time I've ever done that was in a how-to class. <laughs> of all the times to do that. <laughs> Well, but that at least they at least everybody sees it. You know, it, it can happen. Well, how, how how often do you trim your just just when, when they need it? When they need it, so they could go six months, or they could go six they go all years. Some of them never need it. You know, okay. some of them have toenails. They just they keep them more off, and they just really never need trimming. Some right. of them you can trim every two months. Right. Okay. Well, so it just see, our, our ground doesn't have a lot of rocks. It's more grass mm -hmm. and ground, so they may. Bloomer. You. <laughs> <laughs> he trying to oh, I thought anybody wanted to do his. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go, go calm him down. No, no, it's just RJ was going to go calm him down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I just got him. Uh, I did the same thing. They can go a little lower. Sure and they drop us. Oh, God, did he get him? <laughs> I need a fresh just a little bit. Mm -hmm. He is dusty. His table is clean. He's putting him on here. Yeah. Well, he laid down a roll just a minute ago in that gravel. Uh, we set him down out there and he just, whoa. First thing I did was drop the lead off him. That's not good. That's good. It's better than Charlie and that's hay all over him from the trailer. Oh. Wait, put him in more. It's not quite as dead, so his the dirt will get in there a little bit more. So we had to put him in that last night to get back on. He was going to rain. So. Oh, we got a tow away. So he has a nice fleece. Oh, he's got a really pretty fleece. A lot of farms don't even have any alpacas with a fleece like that. That's how nice it is. Yeah, don't underestimate his price to his value. Trust me, I, I. No, no, no. We're we're not. I mean, we gave you an excellent. I mean, we're just. And it's yeah. We're we're just like I say we're learning, so we're. Yeah, this is just an awesome, awesome fleece on an alpaca. Majority of animals don't have fleeces like that, and extremely fine and uniform. You can feel it on him. Well, we asked how his body condition was, and they yeah, just said, be careful when you go up like that, not to clip their toe. With they, the they said he yeah, was just, plenty, plenty yeah, healthy. Yeah, be sure you don't clip the we've end been, of their toe. We've been feeding their, their pad. He said we've been feeding him too much. No, <laughs> no, just right. No, he's, he's just right. Oh, he's, he's just right. Saying. He was saying if he gets more too much rounded. Mm -hmm. yeah, I thought he was starting to feel a little looser because he lost a little bit of weight here lately. Um, I thought, oh, he's... Because we He's had a little starting. girl come back to us to breed, and I said, she can't breed. She should always little. go when There's you're no cutting way. ends. I told Dave, mm -hmm. she's about 77 Keep it pounds. Straight. Weight her, sure enough, she's down that and way. Something, I can't remember what it was, but I wanted her real good bit. and weighed her. Mm -hmm. and I'd go ahead and cut the grass signs and first. Had both, and plus she fattened up. She's starting to gain weight. Yeah, just now. 
but she still won't be able to do this season. We'll have to wait till next season. I may have to leave her here so I can find her. Lord. Yeah, see when you do, when you get down to a spot like this, so you got a little room, you can take part of this and the other side. No, And come back. Because um, we know part it's of that the tip the ones that didn't get the extra the vitamin D, or if there's no vitamin D in their food, they don't grow as much because uh, their good. hair is so dense the sun can't get to their skin. So every time you pull that out, and we're going to pull that away. So that gives you. Now we're going to go across. I usually pull this hair up with my fingers just so I can get under it, and just go right on across. And right to it. Pull it out. Now we're going to make a, a little outline. Now see, he's real wrinkly, real loose. Yeah. Uh, let's pull it here first. We'll start the other end. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to come in here and go right up his leg. Oh, you put this flat. Then we're going to go across his leg. Right at his elbow. There's his elbow. We're going to lay him right flat. And go pull the hair up. Go right straight across. You won't have any drag. If you've got drag, your tip is involved. See his arm tip? Flat right in there. Don't even touch. Go right up like that. There's some guard here. Now we're going to go down his belly. Anytime you have loose skin, you're going to pull it back, like up here. Mm -hmm. So just get in here like this. Sometimes you've got to take some out so you can see. See this guard hair? We're going to take that off. So you don't want your clippers to touch their skin? They do, but just lightly. They just okay. barely touch the skin. See what I left? Yes. If you're in a place where you're not sure about, like right here, see this is real soft. It's best to just pull the skin back just like that so that you don't wind up pinching it. Pull it back like that. Just run right to straight to it. Just barely touch is all you need to do so that you know you're flat. Don't pull the hair you're cutting. Yeah. And pull back here. Yeah. Now we're going to go up in here. So I'm going to pull back this way on his hair. Kind of stretch his skin out. We always go this way. What? The weed. Rich and neck. On his front leg. 
Okay, this right here. Let me get away. Does he have a guard? See this right here? Yeah. You got guard hair in there? We're going to type that out. You don't yeah. save this part because that's where most of their guard hair is at. All right. So we're going to take, and we're going to, right where we came across, there's the front. We're going to go right up here and right over his shoulder. 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 Now you're ready to feel the blanket. Got to be left-handed and right-handed. And you're going head to bottom. All right. So I'll go up here, make a few cuts right here. That's how you get cut more. And then we'll start right here. It's best if somebody just holds the hair up for you. Like that? Yeah. Just don't pull it, just hold it. And we'll go right around. Right here. 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 Coming up. Over here on the other side. So the faster he flips, the better off he is with his blades. Yeah. The better blade like you get, the more you keep him in the head. Well, it's good if you don't cut your cord, too. <laughs> That's never happened, has it? It happened, but it has. I have oh. got it. <laughs> good. Thank <laughs> you. 
so we went ahead and sold him as a pet. He can actually still breed, just not for us.
rest of this is all trash.